All right, people, welcome back to the league. So thanks for all the support. So before we begin, let's go over what happened last week and the current standings. So in the top division or the YCS division, in first place, tied for first place, we have the Kaba White Dragons and the Yuya Pendulum Dragons, who uh, the Kaba White Dragons beat the Kite Galaxy Photons with their Tier 1 Clear Forts versus uh, Kite Galaxy Photons uh, Tier 3 Modoches and was awarded one point. And the Yuya Pendulum Dragons defeated the Yugi Dark Magicians using their Tier 1 Pendulum Magicians versus the Yugi Dark Magicians Tier 3 Sylvan, so they were awarded one point each. And in second place or last place, we have the Yuma Utopians who lost to the Jack Red Arch Fiends. Uh, Burning Abyss versus Necros, so Tier 1 versus Tier 1. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that in Week 1. And the Kite Galaxy Photon, so like I said, uh, lost with their Medoches Tier 3 versus the Ki versus Kaiba White Dragons in a divisional match. So there you go. So 1 point for the Kaiba White Dragons and the Yuya Pendulum Dragons, and 0 points for the Yuma Utopians and the Kite Galaxy Photon. But they still have a plenty of time to catch up. And in the lower division, or the regional division, we have, in first place, the Yusei Star Dragons with three points. Yes, uh, the Yusei Star Dragons were awarded three points for their Tier 3 deck of Heraldic Beast, beating a divisional matchup of the Zane Cyber Dragons, who decided to use their Tier 1 deck of Heroes. In second place, we have the Jack Red Archfiends, who were awarded one point for beating the Yuma Utopians, uh, Burning Abyss versus Necros, Tier 1 versus Tier 1. And in third place, or last place, we have the Yugi Dark Magicians, who of course lost to uh, the Yuya Pendulum Dragons, uh, Tier 1 versus Tier 3, and was awarded 0 points. And as stated before, the Zane Cyber Dragons did lose to Yusei Star Dragons in a divisional matchup, so are also awarded 0 points for the previous week. So, uh, there's of course plenty of time to catch up. We have 6 more weeks until the playoffs, so, you know, plenty of time for things to get changed up, for teams to earn more points, or not getting points at all. So I hope that you guys are looking forward to week two. I know I am. So thank you guys for tuning in once again for another week of Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And let's get it started. All right, people. Welcome back to the league. Whew. Oh, my God. You guys are killing it. You guys are killing it. Thank you guys for all the support. So once again, we have my co-commentator, Stant87, here. Hello, everyone. And we actually have a special guest here. Uh, Oblivion Duelist X. He was actually supposed to be in the league, but, you know, we had some technical difficulties. He wasn't able to make it. But uh, we're kind of planning on him being for uh, Season 2. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi. All right. And as you guys can tell by the title, uh, we have a uh, Tier 2 off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they both decided to go ahead and go with their Tier 2 deck. So we have Trains versus... Uh, you send you? You send you, I think it is. Yeah, you send you. <laughs> so, uh... Thank you guys for all the suggestions, you know, uh, we're definitely going to go ahead and try to clean up the league, uh, you know, we're still in the, the beginnings of the league and we're trying to work out all the kinks and stuff. You know, I the... thought I just saw something I'd never seen you, Sanju. Set one it's pass. Set one. <laughs> set one <What>? pass. <laughs> Not like four pass. I mean, I mean, of course, we still have the mulligan rule into effect and, you know, he yeah. he does know of the mulligan rule, but I guess he's just going to take it slow, I guess. He just yeah, well, Luna did say that he'll stick. So, that is fine. Actually, yeah. you said he'll attic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. When you have to attic, like, holy shit. So, like I said, we're taking all your guys' suggestions into consideration, trying to make the league as best as it can. I uh, think yeah. you guys so, are like, watching. For example... uh, Sorry, go on. Uh, you guys just killed the first week. Like, hello? <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, 300 yeah. plus views. As this is, as we're recording this, 300 plus views on all uh, four first week videos. That is, that is just yeah. amazing. First first episode was what eight broke 800 views? yeah broke 800 views you guys are just killing it you guys are just coming yeah. over to the channel subscribing and uh you know we're we only, we're only in the week two and we're already making plans for season two people we are already making plans so oh, just yeah. thank you and guys we're listening to all your comments as well. definitely yeah. listen to all the comments. whether it's on these videos or it's on the guest uploads that we keep going back to and having a look at the comments and stuff like that we're looking at your comments and we'll definitely implement as many as we can in season two like we'll try and take your control your uh, your feedback about the mulligan rule and stuff like that because a lot of people are like we don't like the mulligan rule i think it's personally i think it's good because think about how sucky it would be if luna won a match now kyle won a match now game three kyle wins because luna opened ship just imagine how shitty that would be if there were a way to end it you know a match is an important thing no matter 
not a match. A game is an important thing in a match, no matter what stage you're at. If you want to get the first win, it's important. You know, if you're behind and you even up on game two, that's important. When it goes to game three, if you're both tied, that's important. Yeah. You know. It, so, um, and I know you guys are probably thinking like, well, you know, that's just how the game of Yu-Gi-Oh is. You know, it's, it's just luck to draw. And yes, we know that there is luck in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but we want to uh, just lessen that a little bit because, yes, it's a tournament. But first, it's entertainment. It's, it's entertainment, entertainment first. It comes first and foremost. And we definitely want to have an entertaining match. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to make tweaks and changes. And, you know, whether it be for this season or the next season, we're just going to try to uh, entertain it. Uh, so one of the changes that we definitely made for this video that we uh, changed for the last two is, uh, you know, the duelists are not in the call. Uh, we kind of yeah. messed that up, and we apologize for that. We apologize for yeah, that. Yeah, because we couldn't really commentate properly. I realized watching the video back when I was like, oh, Omega Chaos is using his heraldics. Daniel was like, no, he, it could be. It could be. He was, like, he was basically trying to say, shut the fuck up, you idiot. They can hear you. <laughs> yeah, so, I was just too dense. He was like, just what? too dense. He's just too dense. And, uh, <laughs> now, uh... It, we don't have them in the call, so we can go ahead and commentate as much as we want. They can't hear us. So, uh, as we can clearly we've see... We've added them to the same, like, group, so we can just comment in the group, and hopefully it'll see it faster that way. Yeah, so so pretty yeah. much, if there's if it comes down to, like, hey, there's something wrong, I'll go ahead and pause the video. We'll go ahead and type into Skype, which they're in the call, but they're not listening. And, you know, we can get the message to both of them instead of trying to message to both of them at the same time and getting them both to stop at the same time. But as we can All clearly right. see, uh, Lunar, he took it slow. He was like, you know what, set one... I'll go ahead and take the mathematician, but if clearly uh, Lunar did not open up bad, he's going in with the powerful uh, Yusenju. Definitely a, uh, okay. uh, what, top 10? Top 10 deck of the format, you know, and, and that's not really saying much, because they're like probably like deck number like 8, 7. <laughs> yeah, but they're, but they're Hermit of the Yokai. But they are not bad, definitely not. So there we go. Lunar's already getting the damage. So of course, since uh, how the tier... Uh, works. They're both tier two, so uh, the winner of this will only be getting one point. <laughs> yeah, only one point. So that's that's the thing. That's the thing. And uh, you know, starting to see, I'm, I'm I'm starting to bounce around ideas. Of course, how how season two and how that's gonna go. Uh, but isn't this a divisional match? I believe this I think is. It is. Uh, I think they're both in the same. Like I said, we're all, I'm also going to be working on a uh, Word document, viewers, so when we, it comes to questions like, oh, name of the team, what deck they used last week, if it's a divisional match and stuff like that, I'll be able to at least say at the start of the video, right, it's this team versus this team, you know, it's this deck versus this deck, which they used last week, this deck and this deck, and so on, and it's a divisional match or whatever, you know. So I'm working on that now. I just had the idea to, just like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'll do that. Well, let, me, yeah. let me see if I know my how well I know my league. Uh, Lunar is the Kite Galaxy Photons. Last week he used Madochi as his tier 3, so this week he's using his tier uh, two. 2, which is Yusenju. And he has not used his tier 1, which is Clown Blade, which does have a law of chain. So I believe Clown Blade is in the YCS division. And Kyle, last week, used his tier 1 deck of... Uh... No. No, it is not? Tier 3 Sylvans. I am mixing. I am, mix, I am, I am mix, I'm mixing up magicians. Kyle and Tyler. I am mixing up Kyler, Kyle and Tyler. I do that often. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what's this team? The the Dark Magicians, right? Yeah, the Yuki Dark. Magicians. Used Dark Magicians who used last week. Used the Tier Three Sylvans is now using his Tier Two Trains. All right. And what's his Tier One? His Tier One is. I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get the Dark. Isn't it Mermails? No, wait, wait, yeah, I might be because Stu's got um, Stu's got BA, Paolo's got Necros, Luna's got Clown Blade. We're gonna get to this eventually. <laughs> we are. Yes, yes. Shout out, yeah. shout out to Demetrius yes. for being the only smart one that pays attention. <laughs> he pays attention to <laughs> more to the league than we do. Yes, uh, he does have uh, Atlantean Normals, which is uh, we decided is actually in the lower tier. So it, this is not a divisional match. So. Uh, I forget. Does he have Neptunus? Ooh, ooh, that solemn warning. Oh, that though. warning. That warning, though. Gosh. Uh, and yes, it does have Neptunus. Like... And two dragons. <laughs> oh damn! So more than the OCG. Is Gund limited or unlimited? Unlimited. Man? Oh yeah, because it's April. It's all like it's all like April TCG list with like OCG. It's more like the July list because he does. We we said two dragons, and then all of a sudden in July, dragons went up to two. <laughs> Because they're like, oh, Jagoon's... OCG has... Yeah. So, yeah, if, yeah, yeah he... Don't they have, um... I think the only thing is D.Va. I think D.Va is still at one for us. 
Yeah. So, so yeah. So I think it's a two in OCG. It's still a one in the OCG. Damn. Diva? Like really? Diva's like Diva's Diva honestly is? the dumb one. Yeah, with well, Neptibus. So he's gonna go ahead and play oh, that yeah. special schedule. Go ahead and target a uh, machine type monster with three thousand attack or more, especially them in defense position. There you go. So he's not backing Get down. over that ass. Yep, that ass. No. Not that that should I'm be too like much of a problem. You in this match. Yeah, yeah, definitely seems like he's oh, yeah. uh, pushing. Especially since it seems like uh, uh, Kyle here doesn't, just doesn't have any back row. You know? <laughs> and if he had some back row back There's up, no oh, damn. Back. Oh. oh, the number generator. <laughs> the number generator, the Regeki and the fucking Solomon. Is that it? Are we are we going on to uh, <laughs> game two here? Is that Did the number generator just wreck you? Does he run Swift Scarecrow? Oh, fuck, that way. I'm going to throw the oh, down, so. But wait, isn't that still game? Yeah, though? yeah, unless he has like some kind of uh, Battle Fair or Swift Scarecrow, that is still enough to be game. So, And if he did, why the hell did he waste damn Vela? <laughs> is that it? Yep. Gores? Trag? Yep, oh. that is it. Because uh, so, he couldn't have played Gores because he had Fields. Yep, yeah, couldn't even play Gores. Ah. Uh, yep, so there we go. GG. So. They're going to go ahead and, of course, go and deciding. We are, of course, going to go into game two. They're going to side it up, and we will be right back. All right, people. So here we go. Two. So the question is, can Kyle come back and uh, get games two and three and actually get his first point? You know, they're, actually, they're both fighting for their first point. <laughs> That's yeah, what they are. both fighting for. That's what for, they're fighting for. They're fighting for their first point. So, of course, we uh, fixed the mulligan. So, pretty much, we have stated that it is opening hand. It doesn't even matter if you're going second. You do not get to look at your uh, your, your six card. As soon as they start, before they even take their turns, player going gun first. Are you going to mulligan? No? Okay, then duel begin. You know, because we've been messing up that mulligan, and we apologize. And, you guys already, yeah. some of you guys already are not the biggest fans of that rule, and <laughs> the way that we were just doing it was broken. It's like, well, he mulliganed after he saw his opponent's cards. Like, we get it, we get it, we apologize, you know. <laughs> it's yeah. going to start off a little bit shaky, and, uh, you know, I, I'm i sorry yeah, that I'm like dropping said, the ball. season one's going to be like the beta test, in a way. Yeah, yeah, a lot of beta testing, people. A lot of beta testing. Ooh! Oh, damn. Oh, what? damn. He said, take this flying C. <laughs> Take my insects, you bitch. <laughs> he just threw it at him. <laughs> yeah, a lot of testing, a lot of testing, and you know, season two we're definitely gonna plan on being uh more decks, uh more interactive, more more people. So uh like I said, it's just a bit of testing because I know I probably the most common thing is how do we join? And <laughs> can I join? Yeah, can I join? And it's like, no, you can't. Uh, like I said, for sorry. right now, like I said, I'm season. Sorry, everyone. We're sorry, but season one is just testing and. Uh, oh god. Oh my god! There's Luna. that lose one turn. <laughs> Luna, that what lose one turn? No. Luna, don't. Oh, yeah, Luna. Luna's getting in. He's like, he's like, you know what? I was, I, I didn't side correctly <laughs> against them. Please, in, I, in didn't the first I didn't get it. I didn't get them. Please, you're gonna get it. He's like, I'm gonna earn you're my gonna one. Get I'm it. gonna earn my one point. <laughs> Don't go for the mind crush. Go for the lose one then, because then he, what? What do you do? Yeah, yeah. The snuggles are pretty real right now. Uh, and what do you do? You oh, I summoned this big thing. And it's in four thousand. Okay. And you know what? You know what's really great and great tech for uh, for Luna right now. That flying what? C is pretty much stuck on Kyle's field. Yep. Because yep. the sentries are going to keep going back to the hand, so he's not going to have anything to crash the flying C into like you would you would usually do. Oh yeah, I know. So that that is just beautiful. That's beautiful. That is just beautiful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Luna, you get your kudos for your siding this time. Definitely. I used to hate when uh they would um Burning Abyss would use their Don their Virgil and they try to sink for Goyo, but I didn't know that Rubik was a condition. It wasn't an effect. Yep, that is a straight up condition. Yep. That's why that, like, <laughs> thank you, of course, Mega Capital D for the guest upload, <laughs> but I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm get on you for a second. Hold on, I'm going to get him. When you, start, when you talk about Burning Abyss, and you said that Burning Abyss could go into Trish. <laughs> like, oh, um, no. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for all the support. Very appreciative. You guys killed this. You guys broke my subscribe button. It's broken. You guys abused it. <laughs> So, uh, like I said, I, I used it like your dirty horse. <laughs> Daniel liked it. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I gained like a nice chunk of subscribers. Like, we need to get me a little bit more kid friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. This is me we're talking about. Here. I know. I don't have kid friendly. 
I feel looking Hufflepuff. pretty similar <laughs> to the last the mm. last game. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, thank you guys for all the suggestions. We're we're definitely gonna kind of keep it up, but God, it just seems like lunar lunar. It looks like mm, I'm not sorry. I'm not saying it's over. Hmm. Bounce the flying sea back to his hand. Bounce the flying sea back to his hand. So if he does it again, all the, Luna, the, you can, all, and now he can actually Luna. get some some attacks in without uh, you know, get killing a sea because you know it pretty much has to stay on the field. God, Luna, Luna is doing the plays right now. Luna is doing the plays. Luna, Luna you're giving everyone the vapors. <laughs> He's putting in that work. I, I am definitely impressed. Mm -hmm. What about you, Demetrius? Um, I just, I'm so shocked because, I mean, like, the that thing is Yosinju, thing. It's so good. he's not running a lot of back row for a Yosinju deck. I know. I mean, let's see him set three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, for, oh, three set? Like, oh. So, where's, uh, oh, he's going to go ahead and grab a, a Karma too. Is it just Karma card in general? I think so. Yeah, it's just a, I mean, a comma. You send you. You send yeah, you. Yeah, you send you a card from your deck to your hand. Yep. I'm so used to them grabbing. I still call it Hermit of the Yokai. <laughs> I'm so used to them grabbing their counter trap that I wasn't sure if it was. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah, plus 100. And go ahead and hit him for that 17 as well. Is it just me, or is every deck starting to become like Infernities? Yeah, is it just, it, it just hey, seems like search we, out we, your back row dot decks. Yeah, we just sometimes we just look Ritual at a particular beasts, uh, archetype. Magic specters, you send you like yeah. every deck. Yeah. And I, will be the next infinity. I'm not yes. the biggest fan. Dan Daniel will love no, it. No, no, I, I don't like when yes. I don't like when decks search out back row. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like infinities. <laughs> like now, I like the deck because it's fun to play, but like it's it. dead. Yeah. So dead. It's not dead, I just don't know how to play so, What? One art scene, no Laval chain, the snuggles must be real. I said at least you got like uh Trish now. That seems that's kinda Which sacky. is so annoying. <laughs> that seems so sacky. Alright, that's again another uh special schedule. And then bam, just gonna go ahead and do the flying sea Adam. He's like he's not even gonna waste like, time. No Damn. No, you don't get it. You get nothing. <laughs> well, um, I, I wonder what Luna's going to do. Will he possibly bounce his flying C back again? The, see, the, the problem with doing that whole play again is that I believe that the monster keeps its original... Uh, yeah, it keeps, so it's 3,000 defense, yeah, that's the problem. 3,000 booty, so... <laughs> but you could always just make a uh, Castellan defense. You know, it's kind of interesting. And spin it. It's kind of interesting. You could always make a Castellan defense and spin it, and then one of the Yusenjus would return back to hand. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm t it's kind of interesting. We put Turing's definitely as a tier 2 because of the powerful Dora. But Lunar is like, I mean, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with Dora. <laughs> like, I'm not, no, no, no. You don't get you, Dora. Not today. No, no, no. No, no exploring for you. Keep your backpacks to yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and there's... there's Bro, he's about to swipe that win from him. Swipe or no swipe. Whew. Then here comes... uh. What's its name? It comes to Castell in defense. Well, after the effect to bounce the flying sea. The, to, oh. the, to 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 oh. to. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Tuzjik. Tuzjik. Tuz, Tuzjik. <laughs> Konami. <laughs> Wouldn't he just bounce the Night Express Knight? Cause that's game if he runs over the flying sea. I'm not sure if he wants to go ahead and save it over Sam because of course you gotta remember what's one of the Sensu's biggest weaknesses is that mirror force. So, mm. I'm not sure if he wants to I be mean, a little more cautious. I mean, the Flying C kind of hurts his lose one turn, because he can't use it freely. How does the Flying C hurt his lose one turn? Yeah, I don't get it. Well, because if he would want to use lose one turn to affect his opponent, he can't have lose one turn on the field and, fl and use Flying C's effect. Say he wanted to bounce it back and wanted to use lose one turn. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm I'm, oh, I'm I'm lost. My boy going for that damage. Because you you special summon it to your opponent's side of the field. Yeah. So when you special summon to. But it affects both. It affects both you. It says all special summon monsters. Okay, so you're pretty much saying. 
Oh, because you're saying if he has lose one the, turn, the then you throw the flying scene negated, negated, negated to the end of the turn. Of, yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah. But then he would still have. I'm, but then I'm, he would still have lose one turn. So it's pretty, it's pretty much still a fail safe. Yeah. So is that it? Is, is that it? Is it, is it over already? Because oh my god. Come on, I, come on, uh, Kyle. Don't go down like this for a second wink. Yeah. Come on. It look. It looks come like on. he might be going down. So, I don't know, I don't know. It looks like he's going to end the second week with still no point. He still has plenty of time. We still got five more weeks. But, you know, it's not good to go ahead and start off, you know, at the bottom of your division like that. You know, especially when uh, the Yugi Dark Magicians are in the same division as uh, the Yusei Star Dragons, which, of course, have three points. <laughs> what the leaders? <laughs> Because, of course, the way that the, the league goes with the playoffs, we'll go, I'll go into more detail about the playoffs, but how the playoffs works is the, the team at the bottom division gets dropped off. The team at the top division gets a bye week, and then the two middle ones will duel for the playoffs, and then the winner of the two middle teams will duel against the top team for the division Dang, champion. That, that, that is it. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. Shout out to Flying C, MVP of the Definitely. Duel. Put in that work. Then that work. Oh, he is like everyone, go pick up your flying seas immediately. <laughs> like, I, I we like I said, we we put train definitely into tier two because it's how powerful door is. But hey, if you can't even summon Luna the door, was just like you can't make the door. Don't make the door. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you've <written> nothing. <laughs> yep, screwed him. Screwed him. Screwed the pooch. Hello, yep. hard. That, that was that was a beautiful yeah. side. Luna Luna did better siding this so, way. There we go, <laughs> people. <laughs> So the Kite Galaxy Photons, after you know losing and almost so closely getting three points in week one, but ended up losing and losing that one point in a divisional match, actually stole a point from the Yugi Dark Magicians and is now one point. <laughs> Has now been awarded one point. That was that was a good duel. That was a good duel. <laughs> mm -hmm. So tell me what you guys think about in the comment section below. I don't. I hope you guys like this. Like I said, this is a lot of fun and. Uh, it's interesting to go ahead and see duels like this. Like, you know, when are you when are you ever gonna go ahead and see you said you duel against trains? Not in any freaking YCS regionals I know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, yeah. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So uh, thank you, co-hosts, for joining me. Thank you, uh, Stanzi eighty seven. No problem. And thank you, Oblivion Duels X. Oh, it's just the wire tab. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's no plow hustle Russell. Oh, uh, no. Nah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, uh, their links are in the description, and, uh, you know, it's interesting, neither one of these two have a, a YouTube channel. Wow, he had that solemn again. <laughs> yeah, that solemn again. Wow. He, he, he had it. Luna. Ooh! And, and the, the bottom. bottom was, you know, no, no. Oh my oh, god. So, oh my so, god. Hang on, hang on. Pe people don't believe you about this number generator I, thing I, still, I, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so, everyone. So, if you guys have any suggestions... Go ahead and suggest them in the comment section below, and uh, you know if they're definitely great suggestions, we're gonna go tr ahead and try and implement them. So uh, to go ahead and clear up one of the big misunderstandings when it comes to uh, leagues, lots of comments on this one. Uh, when it came when it came to a Slate Warriors hero deck, of course he went with the Electro Multi K. Seems like a lot of you guys were unhappy about that. That you know you guys are like that's not even a two one deck, and you know we don't want to see that. Uh, we decided that. Despite our rule that, you know, there's going to be no changes to the deck, just to make it a little bit more interesting and actually hopefully allow him to make the hero deck tier one, we are going to allow him to do a deck change. Uh, hopefully he goes to, like, either more like a bubble beat method or a mass change hero method. Uh, of course he did. Yeah, he, like, we call the haunted getting the shadows back saying. on the end phase. Uh, because, of course, something. when we say... Uh, tier one heroes who are referring to OCG. So yes, he does have the Stratos and we didn't allow him to use it. He just didn't, uh, he sided it and you saw it at the end, but you know, it didn't matter because Tiki was on the field. But uh, we're gonna allow him the Stratos. And we are going to allow, which we actually missed, but we're actually going to allow a Super Poly, because OCG has Super Poly. And it's actually, the version of the deck that he can make can actually be stronger than, of course, OCG, because OCG only has... Because the Bubble Man is at yeah, 3 the Bubble in Man ours. is at 3. But the E Calls are at 3 in ours. Rotor's three. at 3 in yeah, ours. So. Hero Lives is at 3 in ours. I believe that Hero Lives is... I think the only thing that they have in OCG that's hit is, I think, Bubble Man at 2 and Rota at 1. So, so All right. 3 Bubble Man, 3 Rota... Super Poly, Stratos, you know, like I said, you guys think that definitely the, if, with those materials, he should be able to go ahead and create a Tier 1 deck out Make of Make a good because Tier 1. So we're going to go ahead and change that. Hero deck. He could play Hands of Justice. What's up? What is that? With Fire and Ice Hand, Neo Salius, Bubble Man, Stratos. 
I mean, if he wants. I mean, if he wants. <laughs> That's two. Really, it's really busted. It's not fun to play. So, uh, of course, it sounds more like Bat Road out there. Because, deck. of course, you know, um, you know, season one, week two, uh, match one. You know, he was using Dustin's. That wasn't the most entertaining duel. And we're not going to allow Slate Warrior to have you know two out of his three decks. Slate's not going to be that guy. He's not going to be that guy. He's not going to be that guy. You know, and of course, his his tier two deck, which is of course Black Wings. Uh, if not, you know, what are you going to do? Put Exodia in there? Like, no. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to allow him to keep Dustin's. And, uh, you know, it's like I said, mostly a season, of course, it's just a test. So we can go ahead and see accordingly whether we want to allow Dustin's to be in next season. Because, you know, straight off, we said no, uh, uh, no Noble Knights because they're sacky, because they're consistently sacky. And then, you know, we allowed him to do Dustin's, which in the way that it seems like he's going, you know, with the Justice Earths and stuff like that, it just kind of seems sacky. It seems like it's sort of a burn version of it. Yeah. More burn than Dustin ish. Although them game Dustin's do lend themselves well to that sort of playstyle. <laughs> but we we really should have seen this coming when he said Dustin's and we were like, okay. I, I, I really to tell you truth, I didn't know much about Dustin's, you know, that was my bad. Uh I didn't know much at the time now, I looked him up and like, oh fuck. You know, uh, definitely oh, well, definitely because... someone actually commented and said that uh we should have uh, had a list for the tier threes as well, because, you know, some of the tier threes definitely caught us off of guard. You know, like Sylvan yeah, should we, be probably yeah. be tier yeah, two. Mendoza should be tier two. Dustin's their Saki shouldn't be on there. Uh, some people, someone even complained about Light Swords. Of course, we haven't seen Light Swords being used yet, but uh, you know, so we can't really complain hard. too hard. No, I mean, I know Light Swords are Light Swords, and of course, it Light Swan rules. And, no. and of course, the no. Light Swan deck is TCG. So uh, no <laughs> blah 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 will chain or and uh, no. Uh, of the OCG cards, no Minerva, so. <laughs> oh. mm. It's a prize card. Yeah. <laughs> no, no Minerva. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there you guys go. So, uh, I think that's all we have to say for this uh, uh, episode. Yep. So, this is season one, week two, match two. So, uh, the Kite Galaxy Photons grabbed their first point. <laughs> so, uh, of course, we will be back tomorrow with uh, two more matches. The uh, match. Two, I mean, match three and match four of the week. So please continue to support me. Thank you guys for hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, watching it. We are having a lot of fun. We still got uh, five more weeks of the main season before we move on to the playoffs. Like I said, I will be uploading a video going in more detail about the playoffs when we get closer to that time. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you, Santi87, for joining me. No thank problem. Thank you, Logan DLSX, for joining me. No problem, man. Right, their links will be in the description. So uh, click it, go to their channel, and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.